I've probably seen more fights than most men. That was one of the best fights yeah. I've seen. What I got here, Andy, I got a few photographs to bring a few memories back to you, mate, because I think the first time you contacted me to get uh, see if I could get hold of a venue up in um, up in South Yorkshire, and uh, I said to you, well, I, I know a place. I've just got to go and see the people. I know them quite well, and it was the old uh, ground track there at uh, at yes. Goldthorpe, South Yorkshire. Yeah. That photo was when D D Dave Courtney come up that time, and uh, well, Dave, um, you see that big white jacket he's wearing. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you the story about that. This was the third time Dave had been down to a fight. And um, Dave's first fight, what he came down to, was um, it was at the F-Bar in Leicester. Yeah, yeah. And But he, he um, Dave came to the second one. He came to the second one and he wore that coat. It was when uh, Dave Radford and... Um, James McCory had their second fight. Oh, that was a, that was some fight. That was it? some flipping <laughs> fight. That was, I tell you. I, in fact, but quite frankly, I've probably seen more fights than probably I would say near enough most men. To be honest with you, these days, um, you know, that was one of the best fights yeah. I've seen. <laughs> You're a fighter from come from Wales. You're a fighter from Scotland. Come. Was we had a, we had a, yeah from the Scottish. Well, we had two fighters from Scotland. If you remember, we had the big guy who was mouthy, yeah, saying right, he'd yeah. beat everybody in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. And what happened? He got beat. He got beat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's the thing, isn't it? You know, usually if you've got a big mouth, then yeah. that's usually what happened. But um, yeah, I remember that because his opponent never turned up. Yeah. And he come down to the ring and he was shouting his mouth off like, is, is the knee, is the knee Yorkshireman dare have a fight? That's right, yeah. <laughs> and one of the lads took him up on it, didn't he? And they finished, did, yeah. finished up knocking him yeah. out, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> like I say, I remember you, you getting, um, to get it on, obviously the people at the track had never had, had never had this sort oh, of thing God, on. No. And, and at I, first they were, they were, they were petrified. Yeah, that's Same right, as everybody yeah. is. Yeah. And, and I said, you know, I explained to him and I said, look, yeah. You know, we're well organised. It'll be everything. Will be everything. Will be there. There'll be there'll be a medic on hand, and, and everything will be sorted. Um, and I remember uh, you, you're talking about uh, getting a, a, a mixed martial arts MMA license. Yes. Um, well, how did you go on with that job? That was that was that was some hard work. Uh, basically, how, how excited was. Um, you got to remember, I, I, every single direction, I was getting crap from everybody. Yeah. Uh, every, you know, I mean, you name it. I, I, I did three months in um, on remand in uh, Wins, uh, sorry, in um, Welford Road. Um, you know, they put me in prison for three months. <laughs> you know, uh, basically saying, you know, uh, this is illegal. Yeah. Well, it wasn't illegal. No, no, no. We proved it wasn't illegal, yeah. so they, they had to let me go. It was actually through Samuel Kwok. Um, and some of the Monaghan family. I, you know, good friends with Samuel, and he contacted the Worldwide uh, Martial Arts Association, and so I got, I'd already got that in, in this folder I had, and I'd already got it passed by the Worldwide Martial Arts Association. So now, it's actually Britain's first martial arts, which I'm really proud of. Yeah, yeah. You know, people don't realise that bare knuckle boxing is actually a martial art now. Yeah. It was made a martial art by the world. It was voted and signed by 36 different yeah, masters. Yeah. And do you know what? It, it, um, they, were, they were surprised that I had every single, you know, I even had a doctor from America who yeah. proved that... Um, uh, there's more vibration to the brain and far more damage to the brain with a boxing glove than there is with a knuckle. When, when you hit a man with a fist, 
you not only does the bones break in the fist, but you get a lot of superficial damage in the face. So you get a shorter fight, you get less, you get less uh, impact. And... Yeah, but you don't get the brain damage. Yeah, yeah, that's, the, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah. And, and we proved it. 